everybody, welcome to another exciting episode. My favorite episodes are always hauls. So let's do this. Welcome back, everybody. And if you're new here, yeah, welcome to a week in geekdom. At the end of every month, I like to do a haul video highlighting all the geeky stuff that I acquired. It used to be book only, like uh, graphic novel haul, if you will, all the uh, comics and whatnot. But, you know, I, I like and consume and get a lot of things that aren't necessarily comics, uh, manga, anime, uh, Blu-rays. Uh, figures, video games, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, it's it's a decent haul, and I'm going to feature some really cool items. Uh, like I always say in every video, if you want me to review a specific product or do a discussion video on it or whatever, leave, leave a comment down below, let me know, and I will add it to my infinite uh, queue list. But I do promise it will move up in rank. I know I've gotten some comments in the past, and I am working towards them. Uh, I do keep... Uh, a tab on everything that gets written on my comment section so just hang in there guys I will get to every single item eventually uh, just you know stuff happens uh, I also do want to mention I didn't do anything uh, spooky themed for October that was I'm gonna say 70% on purpose 30% was just an accident uh, I was just too busy and I did want to do uh, like a Halloween themed video, but uh, on a show I was watching and it, it just everything piled on and I just could not uh, Get it done in time. So I apologize. I will still do the video. It just won't be Halloween themed We're starting off with manga because I like manga and it's super fun. I did get volume 8 of Demon Slayer. I do have uh, volume 9 on, on the way. It just uh, didn't arrive in time for this particular haul. We have volume 11 of that ancient, that ancient, of the ancient Magus Bride, volume 11 right there, and a fan favorite, Berserk volume 40. Can you believe it? 40 volumes of Berserk. That is awesome. I got the Loot Crate uh, or Loot Anime variant of Black Clover. I don't know if you guys were aware, but uh, Loot Crate went out of uh, or, or filed for bankruptcy or something like that and another company picked them up and is remixing rebranding and, and, and restarting everything so they had a huge blowout sale on all their uh, leftover items at the loot vault so uh, I, I spread the word uh, with my buddies and uh, a bunch of them got some really cool items I happened to pick up some uh, shirts and whatnot that I, I cannot show right now but uh manga wise i did get this this is the uh, like i mentioned the loot anime variant cover for black clover and soul eater volume one this is uh, as you can see it's a little bit different here with the name embossed so yeah soul leader volume one two two shows and two series manga series that i do want to collect in its entirety one day but uh it's cool that i have these limited editions of volume one I like that speaking of the loot stuff I like that it says toothpick holders they're not toothpick holders let's just say that much you open them up and they're Scarlet Witch themed shot glasses sorry for the sensors which look really cool they're based off of uh, James Robinson's Scarlet Witch run from Marvel now was it Marvel now something like that yeah at that cool drawing and the logo and the other one has a different design right there that looks really awesome continuing with the haul let's get into comic books or graphic novels uh hardcover wise i only got one and it is i hate fairyland volume two from scotty young this finishes off the series and i love how uh, neon green this looks I love it the first one is hot pink and I I didn't want the variant covers because they were all black and while they're they look cool I'm a big fan of big colorful splashy looking books like this 
and it's it's just great. I mean, if you've never read uh, I Hate Fairyland, I did I, I think I did a video on it. I, I think there is a review on it on my channel for the first volume. It's spoiler free, like I always do. But if you like this art and you want to read a slapstick parody of fantasy uh, kitty comics but done in an adult way, then yeah, do pick up I Hate Fairyland. It's, it's really funny and awesome, and Scotty Young is super talented, so I, I really love this. Uh, next one, you know, uh, next haul, the next haul video that I do, it, it, circle back to this video, because it's somewhat related. Here we have Unnatural Volume 3, and I don't even know, I mean, it is the book cover, and it's being sold in stores, so I think it's fine that I can show it. I, I don't know. But this is Volume 3 of Unnatural. I did do a, a review on the first one, and it's it's a very interesting, fun series. And I did get, I'm just going to say it now, I did get the first volume of Beastars, because I started watching the anime adaptation. And I loved it so much, I had to start collecting the manga, and I am going to do that. So, uh, yeah, anthropomorphic animals, they're a thing now. Uh, who'd have thunk it? Volume 4 of Monstrous from uh, Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. And, yeah, uh, I, I'm not going to upgrade to the hardcovers because it's a hassle to get rid of my trades and then rebuy the hardcover. Uh, this is still coming out in trades. I, I'd rather do this and just keep getting the uh, trade paper bags. And, man, this, this art is something else. I love this series so much. I also did a review on Volume 1. You can check that out. Um, uh, this series is pretty cool. It's like if you mixed like uh, early 2000s anime, like Last Exile, Wolf's Reign, but in a comic western setting, you get something like it. You get something like Monstrous, a really cool fantasy series uh, that I do recommend. This was the only superhero book I got. Uh, here we have Wonder Woman by Greg Rucka, Volume 3. I have the first two. This finishes off that excellent run. And uh, Wonder Woman and Cheetah happen to be two of my favorite characters in DC Comics. So that's pretty cool that we get them on the cover. And uh, yeah, just really awesome stuff. Uh, Rucka's run on Wonder Woman is just fantastic. And it's great to have, uh, you know, everything collected in one, uh, you know, just three books. That's really awesome. Video games. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I showed them off in the September haul uh, for my birthday. But I did get Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch. Really cool stuff. It, it looks fantastic. I know. There are a lot of people that have done extensive reviews on this thing. Just a fantastic remake of a wonderful uh, 90s video game. Movie-wise, I got the 4K edition of Spider-Man Far From Home, and I love that it says at the bottom, no endgame for Spidey, he's flying higher than ever. Thank goodness that uh, the Sony thing, as predicted, went through and all that stuff that you heard in the news, because uh, it would have been really awkward considering the stinger or the uh, post credit scenes in this movie and what they're setting up. So I'm really excited to uh, re-watch this in 4K and etc, etc. Anime-wise, I did get two uh, titles. I think I have something else coming in. Oh yeah, I have a really cool box set coming in, but I won't tell you what it is. I'm going to do a separate video on it, so stay tuned on the channel for that in a couple uh, days. Uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime part one, or I should say season one part one. This has the first 11 episodes, and this is what I'm talking about. This is the thing I like, and it just looks great on the shelf. And I do like doing the reversible covers. Slime action right there. One of my favorite series from last year, and the manga as well is fantastic. Last but not least, with the anime stuff, I teased about it, and I went ahead and picked it up because, uh, you know, growing up, late 90s, when I, was, when I was first introduced to anime, one of the first things I saw was, uh, uh, it wasn't Saturday morning, it was weekday, weekday mornings, and it was Dragon Ball Z, uh, Transformers Beast Wars, uh, Pokemon, and 
there's something else I'm forgetting, regardless. <laughs> and the fifth item, uh, Sailor Moon, a classic of the animation of the pantheon of animator properties. Yeah, I mean, it's just a legendary series that I took for granted, and I just, you know, it. it I blame the horrendous dub, I blame uh, Western machismo for this, that I dismissed this series simply because, oh, it's Sailor Moon, it's for girls, yada yeah, yada. Yeah. I didn't know about the history of the series, I didn't, I, I really only, I knew about it on a superficial level, and throughout the years I've read up on it, and I've always been interested in watching the original stuff with the uh, uh, original voices and whatnot. So I said, you know what, I'll get it, I'll get it for the collection, because I, I, I love collecting anime, as you can see this this uh, Billy shelf is uh, stacked with uh, some of my favorite anime shows, and I do... While I'm not interested in completing like a massive set of anime, I do want to have like the bullet points of famous titles: your DBZs, your uh, uh, Gias and and uh, Bebop, Ghost in the Shell, Akira. Uh, what else? Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, modern stuff like uh, My Hero Academia. You've got Attack on Titan. You know what I mean? Like the classics that people like. Uh, Digimon, Death Note, Gundam, uh, a little bit of everything, sort of like uh, a brief history of anime. And I wanted to add this. So I found this, if you can't believe it, and I usually don't like to talk about prices on these videos because that's not the point, but I got this for a steal. I got this for 40 bucks. And if you look up the retail price on this, it is not 40 bucks. So you get the uh, chipboard box. It's a little bit banged up near the bottom, but I really do not mind because it works. It's solid. Comes with the first part right there. It's an impromptu unboxing that I was not going to do, but I'm doing it anyways. You get all the uh, Blu-ray discs and the DVDs, I think. Um, 23 episodes. And it also included this limited edition booklet which has a lot of cool stuff like uh, episode guides and song lyrics, character design work, and I assume these were posters or wallpaper or something, but they look pretty cool in this size on this little booklet. And as a bonus, the seller threw in uh, to you know complete the set the part two, so it has the slip cover and everything and uh, the other 23 episodes that make up the first series or season and whatnot right there. So yeah, Sailor Moon. I don't know if I'm going to keep collecting the series because there's there's a lot of uh, Blu-rays to collect, I think. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to continue doing that because I actually do want to talk about it. I actually do want to make a video on the franchise eventually on my uh, anime reviews and whatnot, but uh, this is a really cool uh, collectible to have. Plus, look at that shimmery goodness. I love it. This looks really awesome. But that's about it, guys. That is the haul for the month of October. I think I was missing like five or six more books that were not featured. And I think most of them were uh, manga. And there is two Blu-rays that are not featured on purpose because I am going to do videos on them eventually or separately. As always, uh, leave your comments down below what you thought of the haul. If you want me to review something, let me know. And thank you once again for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. It really does mean the world to me. I really appreciate your support. It, it, it's, I'm honored, uh, to be honest. So, yeah. Once again, thank you. Follow me on your favorite social media platform. Like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. I'm probably repeating myself. Uh, thank you so very much. I have got to go. I've got way too much stuff to read, play, review, and just geek out over. So I will catch all of you on our next episode. I like to do hauls at the end of every video. That's not it. Damn it.